Hey everybody, welcome to Bird Tech. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about Teachable, how it has a coaching option, and why Udemy doesn't have one, surprisingly. All right, welcome back. Where's the video? Make sure you like, subscribe, more subscribers to get the more content we can make. The number one reason why you subscribe to this amazing YouTube channel is to get in the money-making trends before they go mainstream. All right, let's take a look at the stock here. So, in the last day or so, um, yesterday, uh, after I made the video, it actually rocketed up quite a bit, about seven or maybe eight percent. Um, very, very good, very good stuff here. And if you had purchased five days ago, you would be up about well, um, about fifteen percent here to the tops highs. And let's see, just looking at the monthly chart, yeah, about fourteen percent. And then if we go back to the IPO price, you're up about one percent. So not bad. In fact, again, I don't say that Udemy is a short. Um, if you're going to put a position, just put a position. If it goes down, you, you should probably just buy more. But let's take a look at Teachable and Udemy on one of the reasons why someone might not even go onto Udemy in the first place, thus not even adding to any of the value that Udemy uh, has here. So here's the thing. Um, okay, so if you don't know... Teachable is a, a site where you can essentially host your own course, right? And, uh, you know, it has all these options. You basically upload it. We use Teachable at Mammoth, and it's really, really good. Um, I was one of the first people in Teachable uh, just because I know uh, the, I, I knew the founder from Udemy, which is probably a story for a different time. But nevertheless, uh, it is pretty good. Uh, there's two real big ones in the space. There's Teachable and Thinkific. I should probably do a comparison of one of those at that point. But essentially, you, you can basically put your courses on your own site and put traffic to your own courses. Now, you don't get the leverage of a marketplace, but I would argue that there isn't a marketplace out there where you can leverage anything because you, you can't leverage your um, your sales and your traffic on Udemy. Uh, you can do it on Kickstarter, but that's about the only way you can do it. So uh, it'd be better if you could leverage your sales. But anyway, one of the things I do mention, and I do mention to Udemy quite a bit, is that there isn't a differentiation of products, right? So for example, if I have a course, right, and that course wanted more support, like let's say, you know, 24-hour support, I could charge that student $19.99 a month, $50 a month, or we could hop into a live session for $30 or something, or we could book a coaching session. And the fact that I can't do this is a bit of a problem here. So again, Udemy's job is to capture all student-teacher activity, and basically that's not what they want to do. They want to just sell a subscription of whatever their courses are, to uh, to their huge base. And I don't think that's a good idea. Again, people are just not even gonna go into Udemy in the first place. And furthermore, uh, it leaves uh, the quality of instruction to go onto different sites because one of the reasons why e-learning is booming is that they'll a person might go to Udemy and the quality is only so good on Udemy. Like it's still up there. It's still very good quality stuff. The top courses and top instructors are really good. But I see competition making better stuff every single day. In fact, you know, I was looking at one particular topic uh, and I looked at a competitor and I compared some of the tutorials and you know what? The competitor was a lot better. And the reason is, is that that studio might put their stuff on Udemy to get leverage, but it doesn't work like that. So a competitive free marketplace would be a lot better. And you just can't do that because, well, you know, you can't make as much money. You might as well go to Teachable and set up your own school because you'll make more money doing that way, right? There's no reason to put traffic on Udemy. The only thing that you would do is you would maybe put them on Udemy to get extra income from your older courses, which is what a lot of people do, by the way. Maybe under a different um, a, a different name here, but, I, but even then, a lot of people wouldn't even go on Udemy altogether. So what is coaching? Well, you know, if I, let's say, you know, if somebody had some questions and they wanted to book a time with me for 50 bucks, 100 bucks, $200, whatever it is, uh, they could just do this here. And they have, Teachable has this own 
system in place, right? You can go and do that. Now, you a one-on-one -on -one time could be extremely valuable and it's extremely profitable for the instructor. And why I can't do that on Udemy is an issue, right? And the thing is, is Udemy could capture some of that. They could capture 10%. 20% maybe of the income, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think that's actually really good um, that they would be able to do that. But they just, they just will not do that, right? Because they, for whatever reason, have an idea that courses should be mostly videos and tests, and that's about it, right? Uh, plus really good support. And they really don't want to charge extra for good support because one of the reasons why students go into Udemy is that Udemy forces instructors to basically eat the support costs, right? And if you've ever run a business or anything, you'll know that support costs quite a bit of money. Um, and in learning, right, it could cost a lot of money. If you get, you know, 50 questions, right? Like if you get 50 questions that each take, you know, 10 minutes or whatever, I mean, that's a ton of time and, you know, you have to ha make enough money to order su to support those, right? So anyway, um, you know, having that differentiation of support would be better. Um, and the other thing is having the coaching option. Like what I would love to be able to do is to be able to one, put traffic onto Udemy to leverage the amount of students that I get and then be able to sell them services. All the while, the point of Udemy is to capture all the all the revenue from all of that all of those actions right but they don't want you to do that in fact they really don't want you to do that because if you watched my video about uh free coupons right and how, what i thought they should be uh they really don't want you to plow traffic to that which is kind of interesting so i don't know if the end game is to just sell a subscription and then sell the company but nevertheless i think it's um it's going against its original intention of being a uh, democratizing education. It is certainly not doing that because it's so controlling. It's more like a dictatorship rather than a democracy, right? Because again, there are too many rules on the, the system here. And I think more people would make money because I see competitors coming up with better products than what is currently on Udemy. And that's a problem. Now, th this is just one good example. Why I cannot charge for a coaching lesson uh, is uh, is just kind of a little bit mind blowing. I don't know why I can't do that on Udemy using their systems, but nevertheless, I think it's a good idea um, that they could do this. Now, the other reason that one might say is that well, the software is a little bit too complicated. It's really not that complicated to do this, considering they spent twenty nine million dollars on research. They could build something like this out every day, but I don't think they want to, and I think that's a problem. And it goes to my kind of general issue with uh, with Udemy, uh, saying that uh, it, they could be making so much more, right? There's competitors out there, like OutSchool is a good example, right? Udemy could just crush OutSchool tomorrow if they added a feature like this. And I've been asking, and the crazy thing is I've been asking for this feature for like eight years now, right? And they just don't want to do it. Uh, it makes sense. Um, you know, we don't make too much money on coaching ourselves uh, at Mammoth, but uh, I know there's lots of people that do. And why would you not want to capture that, right? The uh, So like Teachable and Thinkific both have like 50,000 instructors. Um, it, it's growing every day, right? Uh, and it, it's a pretty big marketplace uh, for people that just do that, right? And guaranteed, if you were to go to a uh, Teachable or Thinkific meetup, there would be well, first of all, there'd be a person wanting to take down Udemy because that's I hear that every single time. And then there'd be a lot of Udemy hate, right? Why do they do this? They're, you know, I, like, you know, if, if you think I'm critical of Udemy, the stuff I hear people say about Udemy uh, from the teacher's point of view is like, I don't think I could, could say it on this channel, right? Uh, so there's like a lot of people who really don't like the platform, specifically teachers. And guess what? They're good instructors and they're making more money off of Udemy. And that's the huge problem, right? So Udemy was designed to traffic people to their site, which they actually did a pretty good job, but they're monetizing way, they're just not monetizing it well. That's, that's my opinion. And even though the stock price, you know, it's not doing bad, uh, it could be doing so much better, right? Um, if they added in my suggestions here. 
Uh, you know, it's in, it's not bad. If they cleaned house a bit, uh, they would, um, you know, if they cleaned house a bit, this would be like an amazing company. But nevertheless, I feel like the the direction that people have is are a little bit short-sighted. Um, they just want to sell subscriptions, which isn't bad, but they should let individual companies sell subscriptions, just like the App Store. They'll, the pie will grow so much bigger if they could do that, right? Uh, so this just goes into one example of a product that would be amazing on Udemy, but they just refuse to not, to not do it, right? So that's my thought on that. I want to know your comments down below. Have you ever done coaching? Is it good for you? Let me know your thoughts. Remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon. Instead, we sell a digital products down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.